This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership, including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! Hello and welcome back to Dice Commando. This is Swag Dean, and I have been in the laboratory, and I'm messing around with Smash again. And I thought that I would share the process a little bit more for a possible future expansion to Smash, uh, which I'm tentatively calling Smash Duos at the moment. And um, no promise is this is going to get an official release, but basically since Smash has been created, the question has been, is there a way that we can get big and little? Or something like that. Instead of just having 15 point characters, what are we going to do with our big favorite characters? Is there a way to make them smashable? There's talk about making um, another pool of cards where you had like 20 point characters and 10 point characters and you marry two of them together. All these different things. And so what I've come up with is a hybrid. So what it would be is, as you can see here, it is a manufactured character that is a combination of two prior characters and you get one die of each. So in the case of Mandalorian Maul, which is not coming through as clearly as I was hoping, uh, you would get, you know, Big Maul, the one who can deal damage to two people, and the uh, Mandalorian Super Trooper die. And I've given them a single point value and I've given them a single health value but you get a hybrid of the two cards that would be smashable. So there are upsides and downsides to that. Uh, for a lot of these big little pairings, You uh, not all of them are big little. Some of them, like Forlom and Zuckus, are just two middles that kind of have a fun synergy together. Uh, Zeb Chopper, I guess that was, I think Zeb might be a little bit more, but, um, and like 3PO R2, obviously those are not, Bigs, um, base cheer it, things like that. But it lets us play around in that space uh, to get a Bo Katan, a big, a big uh, Maul, Palpatine, Qui Gon. This is the big Grievous, the one that the one that yeah, uh, want to play a lot of weapons on. Uh, big boy Mace. A lot of these are characters that haven't been in Smash, are not particularly smashable, and just trying to find a way to get them in. And ideally at the same power level of the other decks. So that's what I'll be testing. Uh, shout out to the people at Gen Con. I did bring these uh, physically. I created these. And uh, thanks to Tank for making the art. Uh, and Andrew for sharing some resources with us. Um, we were brought these to Gen Con. They, they did get some initial testing. The uh, uh, Caceres boys, uh, Darren Dateo and... Uh, Jenna, uh, Mitch's daughter, got, got to get in some reps and give me some initial feedback. And I've obviously played them a little bit myself. And seeing if this is a viable way to get some of those characters. Um, there's been a lot of fun choices. So as much as possible, I'm trying to give the flavor of both characters. Uh, but some of those could be broken. So like an example would be... Um, 3PO and R2, I kind of gave a, a combination of their power. So when you activate the character, you can either resolve a die increasing its value by one, or you can turn a die to its top side. So it's basically letting you choose when you activate to do one of the old droid character's abilities. And then I gave them more health as this combined character. Uh, and then they'll have a mixed deck, um, giving them red and blue uh colored cards because you have a blue character and a red character in there some characters i'm letting them have both aspects so like bays and shirt i'm letting you gain the color blue uh, after the game starts but like i'm not giving that to r2 because while i'm giving him some blue cards he shouldn't have force abilities uh to kind of matching the droid idea and there are times i think it's necessary to give them access to the colors and there are times when I, I think you shouldn't. 
I'm also trying to give both characters abilities, but there are times when I think that might be pushed. So for Mandalorian Maul, I'm giving you Big Maul's ability. I'm not giving you the Mandalorian Super Troopers ability, uh, picking damage when you play an upgrade. At least not to start. Um, because he's so, his ability is so great. I had to give him some downsides. He has a little bit less health. You see, most everyone, except for Palpatine, who has a way to get extra health, he's going to start at less health. And he's also going to have resource problems. The Mandalorian Dai doesn't have a resource side, and you really don't want to be resolving the resource side on the Mando Dai, or the Maul Dai. So, like, he's going to have some resource problems as well. So, like, he has to have downsides to go with the big upside. Um, but then some characters have great synergy for Lama Zuckus being able to, you know, bring the bounties back, get, use the special on Zuckus. Like, you can get some fun synergy going. Whereas I, I didn't think that they were bringing a whole lot to Smash if I brought them individually into it. It was just gonna be like, here's another blue, yellow bounty hunter. It, it wouldn't have felt particularly unique. But when you have the two of them combined, I think you've got something. Um, I'm excited about some of the things this brings in. The Qui-Gon Anakin deck um, brings pod racing. I brought pod racing deck uh, cards in with Anakin. Uh, his pod racer, stuff like that, are going to be in there. So it's going to be like a fun, interesting uh, deck. Um, I also liked the dual like uh, nature of like we get the Qui-Gon and Anakin and you get the Palpatine and Anakin. So you get like what could have been and what ended up be <laughs> happening uh, with you know turning to the dark side or, or you know what if he had stayed in the light so this is that first pass uh, you know I've got 11 decks that we're messing with I have had requests for an Anakin uh, Ahsoka so like a big Anakin with like the apprentice Ahsoka and Kanan and Ezra if those pairings, because those are also people that are not, although Ahsoka does have one uh, Smash variant, uh, a lot of these are people that haven't been in Smash, and this is a chance to get some of those in, or they're good pairings. Um, you know, you have, there's obvious, like, a, a story that the, the license comes through nicely um, when it comes with, you know, to those thematic pairings, and, you know, having Zeb Chopper and then, Sabine and Hera already in Smash. Like if we do do a Kanan and Ezra, then the whole you know Rebels team could potentially be in the format, which is just really exciting. And big names: uh, Palpatine, Mace Windu, Maul. You know, it really bummed me out <laughs> to some degree uh, not being able to get them in. Um, still working. Some of these are harder than others to balance. Um, Obi Wan is one I'm kicking around. It's, it's another person like there is an ARH Obi-Wan in Smash, um, but I would love to get an FFG version just trying to figure out, you know, what's a good, what's a good way to do it. So there's still more to come from this. Uh, I may share some extra videos, maybe on some of the testing, maybe go through some of the individual decks, what I'm working on, uh, maybe as I tweak some of these, um, seeing what's working, which abilities are too strong, too big, which ones do seem fair, do they need to have their health adjusted, you know, do I need to give them a plot, what else can we do to, to make them viable, uh, but so far I, I've enjoyed how they performed in testing, I do love the idea of a lot of these and expanding uh, Smash in ways that is, while new, it's still definitely harkens back and is reminiscent of a lot of the FFG things that we really enjoyed and making some of these characters more viable because a lot of these characters did have their time in the meta. I mean, Hero Droids was was huge and, you know, Satine was in a ton of decks. Maul was obviously a beast for a long time. Um, a ton of tournaments uh, where Forlom, you know, in weird combinations got play. Big Palpatine obviously has been around. So, Getting these guys represented in the format so you can play those cards, remember those times, is definitely the goal. So uh, keep keep tuning in. Uh, hopefully everyone once in a while have some updates on these. And if we're able to get a decent amount of testing and if they perform nicely and seem like their power levels on 
par with the rest and we can get an official release and you will have even more smash decks to bust out and play casually with your friends kitchen table tts however you want to do it uh so keep checking back in and as always go commando Thank you.